Picture for me in your mind's eye a drop-top Mercedes. Now you're probably thinking of a car with two seats, rear-wheel drive, a folding metal hardtop, and a V8 engine, right? Well, the car sat over there behind me has absolutely none of those things, but the shiny new C-Class Cabriolet is still one of the most interesting cars to wear the three-pointed star in years. And this version we're driving today, the C43 4Matic, could be the pick of the bunch. The beauty of Mercedes Russian doll styling is that this, essentially, is a half-price S-Class Cabriolet. It looks the same, but you'll actually be able to fit this one onto your driveway. Just like the flagship, it has a layered fabric roof that opens and closes in just 20 seconds and can be used on the move. It has space for four passengers, a luxurious modern cabin, LED headlights and a cool 3D effect grille that no doubt will be the grave of many an insect. There's five different engines available in the UK, including two diesels and a flagship 503 brake horsepower V8, but this C43 uses a new twin-turbo V6 with 367 horsepower, driving all four wheels via a nine-speed automatic gearbox. It also gets a nice set of 19-inch alloy wheels, quad exhausts, and a cheeky boot spoiler. This interior is as sumptuous as we've come to expect from modern Mercedes, and the AMG touches really do make it feel special. So you've got this chunky part Alcantara steering wheel, metal shift paddles up here for the gearbox, and these lovely figure-hugging sport seats. It's luxurious, but sporty in equal measure. All right, so I'll admit it, you might not have as much room in here as in the S-Class Cabriolet, but I've had a go back in these rear seats myself. I'm five foot 11 or 180 centimeters in metric, and I just about fit behind my own driving position, which should be more than enough for most needs. Now, this car has a lot of exciting technology underneath it, and I can't wait to go and drive it. However, first of all, we should take some housekeeping. So Mercedes have very kindly lent us a videographer to help us film this video and show it to you. His name is Robert, he's behind the camera there. However, they've also lent us some stock footage which they've shot before. So if you see my beard magically disappear from my face and then reappear on the top of my head, that'll be why. Apart from reviving a much-loved badge from the past, this car comes packing all the firepower that you'd expect from a junior AMG. That new engine is good for a 0-62 time of 4.8 seconds, that's quicker than the 718 Boxster fact fans, and it'll go on to a limited 155 mile an hour top speed too. We also think the idea of moving to a cloth roof for this car is a very good idea too. The two seat SL and SLK are wonderful with their folding roofs which are very complex and add an extra level of security, but when the refinement's this good with a cloth roof with multi-layers, you don't really need to add the extra weight and expense that comes with a folding metal hardtop. Having said that, this C-Class Cabrio is not exactly a featherweight. This C43 version tips the scales at around 1870 kilos dry, so there's still quite a lot of weight and mass to deal with in the corners, but actually it deals with that weight much better than I was expecting. There's three-way adjustable dampers with Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus, but even in its stiffest setting, it doesn't actually get too upset by bumps. You end up hearing more suspension noise than you have actually any real thudding or jarring in the cabin, and it feels pretty stiff too. There's not too much flex and only a slight bit of corruption from the steering. You get that lovely mixture of a car that feels perfectly at home when it's cruising and everything's in its softest mode and it's just slurring through the nine forward ratios, but put your foot down and it actually sounds really, really rorty. And throttle response for a turbocharged engine is really good. It's actually quite easy to run into the rev limiter and we would say that this nine-speed auto box is a little bit slow. It's not quite as pointy as a sports car, but I tell you what, it's hugely capable and much more fun than we were expecting. I don't know if you really would miss the performance of the C63, and when you bear in mind that that car's nearly £16,000 more expensive, alright, it's rear-wheel drive, so there's a bit more options when you want to turn the traction control off and be a bit of a hooligan. You can get a lovely flow going in the C43, and the extra security of knowing you've got that bit of extra grip to lean on when it counts. I think overall, this car just leaves you with the impression of something that's got a really nice breadth of abilities. No, admittedly, it's not quite as dynamically sharp as a C-Class Coupe, but it's pretty close, with the added benefit of being able to drop the roof. I'd say it certainly feels more luxurious and also a little bit sportier, in fact, than its main rival, the 4 Series Convertible. To us, it seems like Mercedes is trying to kill all of Audi's sacred cows at the same time. 
Previously, if you wanted a four-seat cabriolet that was sure-footed with four-wheel drive, had lots of power and a lovely interior, then the S5 was your only option. But the C43 takes all of those things and brings them up to the next level. The twin-turbo engine is very different in character to the frenetic two-litre you get in the A45, and it's slightly less powerful. However, its muscular mid-range performance, throaty soundtrack, and smoothness at low speed are all a perfect fit for this car's upmarket image. Better yet, the three-way adjustable dampers and the added security of the four-wheel drive grip for all weather conditions should make it a real hit back in the UK. When you compare it with the £70,000 C63 AMG, this seems like a real performance bargain.